Hey, hello. How you doing? I just thought I'd do some stuff since it's Saturday. I'm supposed to do stuff on Saturday. Well, yeah, I do at least try. Anyway, OPB Beauty London Spotlight Eyeshadow Palette came in with my merch box. There we go. Lots and lots and lots of colors. And I figured might as well get on with it with this one since I'm trying to go through all of my um all of my palettes that I haven't used already. So, you know, this one's like laying on top. Got this one and a beauty bakery one that's also kind of laying on top. I have no idea where I'm going with this. But I went through my palettes everything out because I was trying to do one of those spinny wheels to do you know the random choice kind of stuff and I was putting all of my palettes on and trying to reorganize where they were in the drawer and that kind of stuff I'm still flattened by the concept that I have 72 palettes. 72 palettes. And I really don't buy that much anymore of my own stuff. You will hear my husband yelling in the back trying to herd the doggies. Which, it happens. Just herding doggies happen. We've got the cute little doggies coming back in from going potty. And we usually end up giving them a treat of some kind when they politely ask to go out and then come back in. There's no accidents on the floor. Okay, yeah, they're supposed to do that anyway. And they should do it without necessarily getting a treat that... Yeah, we started that early with them to get them to go out when they were babies and we just never cut it off. So, there we go. It's all our own fault. Ah! This thing, this is one of the mats that's like right in the middle. It's called Glimmer. But... I barely touched this thing. Barely touched it. And like, look at that. Look at that. It's almost scary how much came up on this. Don't worry, I'll be back. No, really. I'll be back. I have not deserted I'm just reaching into the bottom drawer for one of my little thingets because I want to use this brush again if I can get enough of the first color off. Let's see. Anyway, where was it? Oh, yeah, 72 pounds. And that includes the new ones that just came in because I just finished typing everything in. So everything I currently have in my hot little hands, except for the individual shades, if it's in a palette structure, it is in the spinner. So, it's a very interesting looking color. Now let's see what else I'm going to do. I've currently got AOA Studio all over my face. I've got primer on for the face. I've got AOA Studio primer on my eyes. 
and it's called it's called soft base eye primer and it's in weird which is like weird for me because i usually do white stuff the other thing i've been looking at is i got finished with the palettes and i said okay what should i do next i'm really annoyed because the the picker thing you can't exactly just print out the the stuff you've put in as a list you can't exactly just print it out as a list which would be really handy but there you go they don't do it i started looking at all my lipsticks and i started going how many tubes of pinky brown nude do I really need? With like one mouth application taken out of several because, well, it's a different brand. It's a different formula. It's the same blooded damn color. <clears throat> anyway, let's see what I'm going to do next. That's kind of pretty. Let's see how this looks. Let's see if I'm going to have to do something about this brush. Yeah, because it's not working. The, uh, apparently once you get some of the matte pigment from this palette on a brush, it ain't picking up anything else. So, let's see. Wow. That's not only interesting. But, yeah, it lays over really, really well if you're trying to... Wow. Okay. I'm in love with this palette. Just so you know. Yeah, me and this palette are going to have ourselves a time. It. Wow. <laughs> it just lays right over without any issues. And this is some rich. Color. Now see, I'm down to, I had been on Ipsy, and then they raised the prices. And I said, thank you anyway. So then I picked up BoxyCharm, and then they raised the prices. And I was like, okay, you're not that charming. I'm done with you. And then I went to um, Birchbox because Birchbox is still at a semi reasonable price. It's like under 15 bucks. I'm good with that. Some of the other boxes, though, are just they're getting out of hand with their prices. And I'm not having it. I'm just not. So I've had, gotten two birch boxes so far. I got the March and the April. May is on its way. Wow. Just, yeah. Wow. I'm 
just putting a little bit of black at the far edge out here. Now, if you look, I've only got the black kind of on one side, even though it's a round brush. Because I'm trying to keep a little bit of control going here. A little bit. I want to see what I can do playing with this thing. just fiddling around because it's like not going anywhere today so I'm like just kind of futzing a bit oh my I like the way this black works. Again, it's dense enough color that it's doing a great job overlaying the other color. I'll dust that off and I'm going to get, I'm going to throw some lipstick in the floor. That'll be fun. Just kind of fluff this around a little bit. Your pardon. Harp squad. I've been collecting a good bit of air because it's spring. So I've been doing a lot of breathing with my mouth open because stuffy nose. I'm, I'm, I'm pulling all of my lipsticks out and I'm going to look at them. And I'm going to look at them all seriously because Literally, how many pinky brown nudes do you really need, regardless of which formula? It's like, come on, guys. Oh, yeah, I've got that thing going on again. It's that thing. Because this eye droops down more this one. So trying to get the shapes right is not always easy. I'll clean that bit up with a little micellar water once I get everything else set up in. And it's going to be close enough because it's already kind of pretty well stuck down. Now, let me get yet another brush here because... I'm going to see whether or not the shimmers work 
with just a brush or if I'm going to have to get uppity and do a spritz. Let's, let's do something really, really, really radical here and go for a pale shade of a color that is nowhere on my eye just to see how derpy I can be. Uh, looks like I'm gonna need the spritz. It picks up fairly easy onto the brush. But it doesn't seem to want to come off fairly easy onto the eyeball. Well, you know what I mean, my eyelid, whatever. Yes, yes, I know. I'm supposed to dry the thing off. Anyway, I wanted to let people know that while I was fighting with my my palettes and the idea of what to do with my lipsticks, I've also been working on things like my website for the book, which is through blog, through WordPress, and it is now live. I actually turned it on today. It's got a little more info on what's going on with the book. And it's got some info about me trying to set up a Patreon page. We will see how that goes. I'm still not completely familiar with Patreon and how it works. So, you know, there's a learning curve there. That's actually looking pretty nifty. I think I will probably put something a little bit darker backwards. I know I'm doing this backwards. I should have done the darker one first and then this one so that you know dot 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 tell you what <laughs> if you think it should have been done a different way if you've got this palette or something similar You go ahead and do it and show me. How's that? Go ahead and do it and show me. Now, that's not bad because this is a kind of a pale silvery blue in here. It's called Lime. So, let's see where I want to go next. There's a purple shimmer. There's a couple of different shades of green shimmer. There's a dark blue shimmer. Well, medium blue shimmer. A couple of gold shimmers. A red shimmer. Kind of a brown shimmer. 
and there's some burples. Uh, being weird. Let's just go with the weird. Yep, even the darker shimmers going to take a spray to really get them kicking. This is kind of a magenta shimmer. Magenta. I lost my heart to magenta. Yep, that's as far as you get. I haven't come up with any more for that one. No more song. Otherwise, I'd have to, like, come up with really weird lyrics to go with Magenta having dinner ready and Thank You Rocky Horror. Dot, dot, dot. La, 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 la. Oh, somebody's making an ass of themselves out on the road. Pardon my rude word, but it's out there honking like he's got nothing better to do. Definitely interesting. I think I'm going to get up and eat with that stuff. I may even put a bit over here. Now, I don't see anything really bright, bright, bright going on in this palette, besides that pale blue. 
that would do any, you know, inner corner kind of thing. So I would probably grab up something else to do that with. Oh, I am so cute. That absolutely delightful um, highlight that I used on Tuesday. Well, it showed up on the screen on Wednesday, but for my two, should have been Tuesday vid. The the Empress highlight from AOA Studio. I dropped it, and it shattered to powder. I'm annoyed. Annoyed, I tell you. In the meantime, though, I do need to do a bit of a shout out while I'm here. Oh, my hair is a wreck. Ah, don't mind me, I'm just pitiful. Jeffrey W.C. Jr. was kind enough to send me a little liquid support in the form of, of a cash app. And I am thrilled and, and, and I am flabbergasted and I am floored that anyone would do that. It just, out of the blue. And, and, I've already made good use of it. It's in my gas tank. Thank you, Jeffrey. And, and, and I really appreciate it. And I hope he hangs around, not so that he puts more money in, but I really hope he hangs around. Oh, uh, that's my grandchildren trying to fight with their four-footed children while they make dinner. They're, they're puppies. They're the giant puppies that I talk about now and again. They're, they, the dogs outweigh one of the grandkids, okay? They're big doggies. Very big doggies. The girl pup I find rather intimidating even though she's a rough, tough cream puff. She's just that big. Anyway, this looks interesting. Yeah, that's a word, interesting. I'm going to bop for a second. Well, for you it'll be a second. For me it'll be however long it takes me to put the rest of my face stuff on. Well, at least the face and Powder, do things like take care of my allergy issue. I'll be back in a bit. I'm back. How's everybody? Did you miss me while I was gone? Anyway, got my foundation on. Powdered it a little. I'm going to grab the bronzer. Technically, it's a blush. It even says blush. It says blush right there. This is the AOA Studio Color Fino. But because it's me, I use it as a bronzer. And the foundation, which is definitely a bit
bit darker than I usually am because it's not actually summer yet is the AOA Studio BB Cream in Light. I usually go after Fair, but they're out of it so often I end up going with Light, and I use it most of the summer, so it kind of blends in by then. I have been fighting with my hair for a few days. I think the ends have gotten too dry, and I need to just trim the ends off on the top, but I've been doing some leave-in oils and stuff for the last couple of days, which means every time I do this maneuver, when I'm frustrated with something like 72 palettes, umpty dozen shades of, of, you know, tubes of pinky brown nude in my lipstick collection. Yeah, makes my hair stand on end and look silly. I can try to nail it down, but at this point, I'm not going to bother to try because, let's be real, A, you guys have seen it now, and B, it took me forever to get it this time. It was standing up like a freaking Brillo pad, looking all kinds of nasty because it was so dry. And I had tried to do the pin curls that I do every so often. And I got this quote unquote body stuff going on here because of the hair product I was using plus doing pin curls, so that part sort of worked, but the ends came out all crispy, and I'm going, dude, it wasn't this bad, and then I put that, I put that hair dye on a couple of days ago, and I went to curl it, and you saw the, the other film this week where it was where I hid it behind a bunch of, of hair clips with, you know, flowers on it so that you couldn't see how gnarly it looked. Well, this is an improvement. So, and I don't know if it's just dead dry ends or if it's dead dry ends with that semi-permanent, just put it in and then wash it out and it'll last for anywhere from 5 to 30 washes, it says. And it's like, it's totally vegan. I've never heard of it before. It's called Bright. This does not look bright to me, okay? This is supposed to be their rose shade. Uh-huh. Rose. Yeah, all right, whatever you say. And it just came out crispy on the ends, and I'm going, eh, I was not happy. Just, no, not happy. So, like I said, I've been putting oil supplements all over it trying to get it to lay down some, sort of, but it's just, it's gone strange on me. I'm probably going to have to get the ends on the top parts trimmed when I get my sides redone, because they need done. But yeah, I wasn't going to try the, here, let me camouflage this mess again, because it's like, I tried a product because it was under six bucks, and it gave me an under six bucks hair color, okay? Okay. 
I know when to admit defeat. Now, this blush is called Delight, and it's just kind of a pale pinky kind of thing. Only thing I don't like about this brush is it's just a little flimsy. I love it because depending on what I'm feeling like doing with it or what I grab it for, it's really, really, really good for doing that little under eye thing if you powder there. My problem is I don't normally powder up under there because 62, crepey skin, dry skin. Let me tell you about crinkly patches if you put the powder on under there. Okay, I can tell you about the crinkly patches. Uh, I really like a lot of the AOA Studio stuff. Not as much as I like my elf, but that's a whole nother matter. Now, I started thinking about all of my different materials here. I've got the Umpty Million palettes. I've got the Umpty Million lipsticks. Base, I have currently three manufacturers. I've got CoverGirl, I've got Elf, and I've got AOA Studio. AOA Studio, I have two different forms. I've got the BB cream, and then I've got their regular foundation. Elf, regular foundation, and BB cream. CoverGirl, the foundation with the Oil of Olay spin in it, a regular foundation, and something close to a BB cream. It doesn't actually call itself a BB cream. Now, this is another AOA Studio blush, but it's a shimmery blush, and it's got some gold swirlies in it. So, yeah, I'm just going to kind of put that in here since the only other AOA Studio highlight that I currently have, it's really, really pretty, but it's what they call their velour highlight. It's a cream, and I've already powdered my face, so... I'm going to go with the shimmery blush and call it good and figure that's enough. I'm going to try taking that some of the gold swirly in here on one of my pencil brushes. Try to get right down into that gold and put something up in here. That gives it a little pop. Okay, it's got some of the pink mixed in it, but I'm good with that. I've got enough of the gold to get a pretty good pop going on there. Nice. That'll do. Get my other little highlighting brush out. Hit that 
same area just a little bit. Go rather gently with the highlighting brush. I do love this. I really do. This is a really pretty color. It's from their Lumi line from AOA Studio, and it's called Rose Dawn. There. Now, let's see. Now, if I want to stay with kind of that magenta routine, I've got this orchidy color from Jolie that came in a box, but I can't I can't read the color, which is like really annoying. And then I've got a pinky brown. That one's from Smashbox. And then there's this one that's from the Santi. That's the shade is Super Mom. And it's closer to a rose. I think I'll do the rose instead of the orchid. Now the Visanti, oh, I love it. It's not real bright, but it's called Power Oil Lip Gloss. Now let me tell you, it stays comfortable for hours. Just hours. Now uh, let's see. Finish up on the eyes a little bit. Give it a little mascara. I don't currently have any AOA mascara, so got my cover girl here. I've also decided and worked this out where I will have to go to Mr. Jim, my loved husband, and say unto him, I really, 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 really need. And if it's stuff that he already knows I have gazillions of, we will go through several questions about why I think I need something before I purchase it. And that's mainly because he actually has a better memory for this stuff than I do. 
I think it has to do with having been a retail manager in a theatrical su supply store that had to deal with makeup collections. I'm not as good at keeping track of how many palettes I have with amazing color schemes or brushes. I have a thing for collecting brushes and I get to a certain point where I'm looking at my brushes and I'm going, I need more brushes. And then if I get up and actually go to where I have my dirty brushes stacked, I look over and I can go, oh, well, maybe, maybe I don't need more brushes. <clears throat> maybe. Oh, wait a minute. I do have AOA. AOA! Mascara. Here, let me put some of this green mascara on. AOA was where I was getting the skinny and fat mascara that I started using doing the put the fat one on the upper lashes and the skinny one on the lower and that and it was all separate and then Elf came out with a dual ender which I've gotten used to using the AOA individuals got dried out and everything, which is, you know, what they do. But AOA makes some fancy color mascaras. And at a dollar a pop, I'm not as upset about not using them constantly. You know, feel like I still got my money's worth out of them if I use them three or four times. Got this deep forest green and I've got a blue one. Okay. Yay! Got that part done. I am not bothering with any dramatic eyeliner. I'm just not doing it. So, there you have it. What do you think? No, really. What do you think? I mean, I went ham with the color here. I went nuts with colors. What do you think? Would you go nuts with colors like this if you had this palette? OPV Beauty London Spotlight. Would you go nuts if you had this palette? Let me know. If you've gotten this palette in a box or whatever, put it on. If you're one of the people who doesn't have a lot of palettes, but you've got enough stuff to kind of play mix and match and cobble one together from your singles and whatever, go for it. 
run it up. Run it past us so we can all see what you do. Yes, my hair is a wreck. Yes, I did my first shout out for somebody who did something that I never expected to happen. Thank you again, Jeffrey. See, I can brush it and it doesn't lay down any better. It still sticks up in places. It's like, and this is the third day of putting extra oils and stuff in it. I think I'm going to break down and take a, well, you're supposed to, to, to put this on right after you wash your hair mask and let it sit for a couple hours and then go wash my hair. Um, the, uh, web address for my WordPress page on my books is in the description below. Yes, I've updated that. It's there. You can go look if you want. You don't have to. Um, if you do, tell me what you think. I dare you. No, really, I dare you. If you like it, let me hear about it. If you don't like it, be specific about what is going on with it that you don't like. I can't fix it if I don't know what the problem is and why you're having this problem. I've started working on a Patreon setup so I can do more pretty much intense stuff about the book and then get like Angie from 4F Beauty starting to do some of the audio. I haven't finished setting it up, so no, it's not ready. I haven't put it, I haven't updated anything on the, on the description. I don't have any of that information yet, so I'm still fiddling with that. I started the, the website through WordPress on the books and my writing in general. I started that back in January because it was a class project for one of the English classes that I was in. They said, like, look, you're gonna you're writing this book. Do you want people to know about it? We're going to give you an assignment to build your website, build your web presence. And I said, oh, really? So, yeah, I got it done. Is it perfect? No. Is it done? Yes. And as of today, it is now live instead of just saying coming soon. It's getting closer, guys. The book is getting closer. It really is. It's getting closer. We will see how this whole thing goes because I really, really want to get the book out. Anyway, wear your mask, get your vaccination. Got mine. I'm all vaccined up. I even have my little passport in case somebody needs to know. Um, I'm two shot member of House Moderna. I keep hoping somebody's going to do like house patches or something that we can wear around. Anyway, yes, my voice is starting to go. It was kind of quiet to start with, but now it's starting to go scratchy because pollen. You have colors to look at. Colors to look at. And now I have to go look over some questions on a tag because 4F Beauty tagged me and I have to go do that next. Well, Maybe tomorrow. 
I'll get it done before Tuesday. Oh. I had it had the other one done before Tuesday, but the editing was such a fight. I didn't get it posted till Wednesday. Not fun. Keep your distance. If you have to cause trouble, make sure it's good trouble. Be good.